joy to introduce our missionary endeavour on behalf of the Ulster Mission Board. For nearly four decades we have been reaching out with the message of the Gospel to the various continents of the world. Our first missionaries were sent to Spain 37 years ago when the Reverend and Mrs Hannah left these shores. Reverend and Mrs Boyd have laboured there since 1986. Miss Joy Gillespie works alongside the Reverend Boyd in Cortegas Nuevas and the Reverend Ankel Alvarez with the Reverend Hannah in Alcorcón. Over the years the Lord's goodness has been clearly manifested to us as a congregation. We have seen souls saved and added to our fellowship. Just recently one of our young people, Abraham, publicly professed his faith in Christ and came into membership in the church. As well as the weekly ministry of the Word and the pastoral care of God's flock, time has to be given to spiritual counselling. The spiritual needs are so many and often quite complicated. Please continue to pray with us for the unsaved attending our weekly Sabbath services. Pray for Angel's parents. Pray too for Alberto, for Carlos, for Esmeralda and her daughter Daniela. Esmeralda's husband, Henry, is already a believer. We also appreciate your prayers for us, that the Lord will be pleased to do even greater things through us for his eternal glory. It is hard to believe it is 27 and a half years since we came here to Spain. We can give thanks to God for his faithfulness and for his children who have faithfully held the ropes in prayer and practical support. Looking back, we have experienced encouragements and discouragements, but in everything we know God has his purpose, and we can safely rest in his wisdom and power to do all for his ultimate glory. What a privilege it is to be part of that eternal plan, to be used of God to be able to tell this wonderful message that Jesus Christ has come into the world to save sinners. We continue with the outreach programmes of radio each weekday at 12 noon, also book tables in local markets. Please continue to pray for the work of God in this most heathen and pagan land. It's been 11 years since I was ordained as a minister of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Church of Alcorcón to work together with Reverend John Hanna. I minister both in Alcorcón where the church is and in Barciense where we live with another four families from the church. At this point I'm giving Bible studies to a couple that live in the next town to Barciense. He's saved but his wife hasn't received the Lord yet. They have a son and a daughter, and they don't seem to be saved either. I would also like to mention both of my parents who are not saved. My mom has been attending the morning services for quite a few years now, and in recent weeks my dad has been coming to church several times now. Greetings from Spain. This year has started in a very encouraging way. I was asked to teach a series of English classes for school teachers who wish to improve their English language. These classes have brought me into contact with new people and I thank God that I have found favour with them and been able to share the gospel with some. I have also been encouraged by some ladies in the church who have a desire to invite friends and neighbours in to hear the wonderful words of truth. In this way I have spoken to four women with varying ranges of interest concerning the things of God. These are new contacts that God willing I will have other occasions to share the gospel with. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may find free course and be glorified even as it is with you. We sent our first missionary to Africa 31 years ago to work with the Bible Christian Faith Church when Miss Margaret Russell went at the call of God. Since then, Miss Gillian Gillespie, Miss Noreen McAfee, and Reverend Mrs. Patterson have joined the team. Miss Kathy Walker from Orlando labours with the missionaries sent out by the North American Board. Greetings from Kapanguria, Kenya. The annual Sunday School Parent Days and Praise Giving in the BCFC were encouraging when we had visiting parents under the sound of the Gospel. It is my desire in this new Sunday School year to have closer supervision in the 32 Sunday schools in the BCFC. In order to do that, we hope to appoint those who can supervise the Sunday schools in their own areas. 
The upgrading of the Sunday School curriculum and visual aids is ongoing. And at the moment we have four artists who are involved in this. The new uh, building in Mokotana Church is nearing completion. And as always, the completing is involving and expensive. We do appreciate your prayers and continued support for these ministries that we are involved in. The work of BCFC in Yaporo continues to grow and we are seeing new faces coming into our meetings. Pray for salvation and spiritual growth in the lives of those who attend. The literacy classes amongst the women is now seeing some now able to read simple portions of God's word. The men meet each Monday afternoon and the ladies each Friday. Pray for others to come along to these meetings. In the holiday months of April, August and December, I am able to run five day clubs in Yaporo and hold teaching meetings for the teens and youth of the congregation. Regional rallies are also held for the teens throughout BCFC. Brethren, pray for us. For the past 14 years, I have had the privilege of serving God in the BCFC Christian Academy. The Lord has done great things for us and we praise him for every child converted to Christ and every need supplied. We have 700 students in the academy, facilitated by 26 teachers and 34 support staff. A further 600 children are reached in our nursery schools in the reserve. We are grateful to all who support us and request that you continue to pray that God would give wisdom in the running of the institution, that his grace would be evident in our staff that he would bless our students spiritually, physically and academically and that he would supply all our need for his own glory. My name is Malcolm Patterson and with my wife Alison we have been in Kenya since January 2013. I teach in the Bible College where there are two courses running at present. There is a main course which prepares students for the Christian ministry where I teach uh, three subjects. There is also a youth ministries course where I teach two subjects. I also regularly preach on the Lord's Day and at the midweek Bible study and prayer meetings in the local church. In addition, I have had the opportunity to speak at various conferences and camps organized by BCFC. I help with the ladies meetings in the Catali area. I also prepare Bible study notes to encourage the ladies in the reading and study of the scriptures for themselves. At present I have completed nine months of daily Bible studies. The present series is in the Gospels and are available in English and Kiswahili. I also teach English in the Bible College. I speak at some conferences and meetings organised by the BCFC. More recently the Board commissioned the Reverend and Mrs Graham to work in the land of Nepal and how we have rejoiced in what the Lord has wrought there. The growth of the churches in Nepal in the past 11 years has been the source of great encouragement to God's people here in the United Kingdom. Our own work has involved the commencement of the Bible College in Kathmandu in 2010. It is gratifying to report that the teaching in the college is now being carried out in the main by the Nepalis themselves. 120 men and 50 women have undertaken the training in the college and this we believe has laid a foundation for the future development of the Free Presbyterian Church in Nepal. Furthest away is the land of Australia where Reverend and Mrs Ian Hall labour in Port Lincoln, Reverend and Mrs Gardner in Perth and Reverend and Mrs. Ralph Hall in Kingston, Tasmania. I am presently ministering the Gospel in the Air Peninsula in South Australia. We have two congregations in the peninsula, one in the city of Port Lincoln and the other in the town of Locke. Pray for the Lord's blessing to be upon these congregations. Greetings to you all from Perth in Western Australia. We arrived in Perth on the 1st of January and are grateful for all of the prayers of God's people for us coming to labour here. As a family we have been adapting well to life down under. I have been very encouraged with the faithful attendance of the congregation of the services and their great desire to see the Lord come and work among us. We do ask you to pray for the Lord to give us wisdom concerning effective outreach in the locality and through this city. 
and in particular we ask you to pray for our children's meetings and youth meetings that we would see more young people reached with the gospel of Christ. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for all of your prayers for us as a family since our arrival here in Kingston and we'd ask you to continue praying. We pray especially that the Lord would be pleased to bless the preaching of his word that we might see the salvation of precious souls and that the Lord will be pleased to bring into our fellowship families that are devoted and know him as Lord and Saviour. We also ask that you pray for our Sunday school, that we might see an increase in the attendance of boys and girls, and that the youth of the Kingston community might be blessed in knowing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Samaria is our nearest mission field outside our own province where Mr. Colin Maxwell has laboured for these past 24 years. The Maxwells have been labouring as a family in the Republic of Ireland since the late 1980s. First of all in a fixed capacity in Cork and since 2009 in an itinerant ministry. With the use of a small camper van, our evangelism takes us to Dublin, Galway, Athlone and the official Marian Shrine in Nalkin County Mayo. It is also good to be a part of the Free Presbyterian Witness at the Irish Ploughing Championships each September and the monthly Consider Christ campaigns in the Irish Republic. Thank you for praying for our endeavours. Let's not forget about the home mission field. Miss Joyce Walsh conducts a successful outreach to the children. Mr Chris Killen to those caught up with drug addictions and Mr. Robert McConnell working mainly as a children's evangelist. We're glad too that Jonathan Smith has been accepted as a missionary candidate to work with the young people of Northern Ireland and is presently doing deputation meetings around our congregations. Holiday Bible clubs amongst the boys and girls throughout the summer months, open air meetings, camp ministry throughout the winter months involved with after school Bible clubs over the last couple of years have been using uh, schools which has been a tremendous asset to the work. School assemblies, scripture union, sometimes youth meetings, weekly children's meetings, ladies meetings on occasions. Um, the work is varied from week to week but always plenty of opportunities to present the gospel to our boys and girls and we rejoice in the number of children that do still come to meetings and above all else to see boys and girls come to put their faith and their trust in Christ. Over recent years as well, something that I, I should mention perhaps is the Youth Council outreach that we have through the summer with some of the young people from our churches who come and help. Pray for every aspect of the work uh, throughout the year that God will continue to bless us and that in the weeks and months and years that lie ahead of us we'll see boys and girls come to faith in Christ. Drug abuse and addiction is an ever-increasing problem, both at a national and a local level. My work under the Mission Board involves me going into prisons, into hospitals, into people's homes, speaking to them on a one-to-one -one basis, bringing to addicts and to those caught up in addiction the message and the hope of the Gospel. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. It's been wonderful to see lives changed and transformed by the power of Christ. We'd ask you to continue to pray that the Lord would bless this ministry and work and that in all things that he would be glorified. Hello, my name is Robert McConnell and I work under our mission board as a full-time child evangelist and I've been doing so for a number of years now. As well as helping out in our own churches, a large part of my work focuses on bringing the truth of the gospel into many primary schools in the County Down and Greater Belfast areas. What a privilege it is to reach thousands of children who perhaps have never heard of their need of the Saviour before. During the summer months I also conduct children's missions, holiday Bible clubs and I'm involved in various children's camps. Do please pray for us. Our motto text for this work is found in 3 John verse 4. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Thank you. We are excited by the new door that God is opening in Uganda for the preaching of the gospel. And we ask you to pray that the Lord will lead and direct our mission board 
as we seek to take advantage of the door that God is opening for us. Oh